Hello and welcome back to my channel. So there is nothing in this world that is more challenging than being a mom, okay? You are on 24 seven, you never have a day off. So these are the things, the little tips, tricks, hacks that I actually use that make my life a whole lot easier. These are tried, tested, and they are so good. So you're gonna wanna save this video, send it to your husband, your partner. And with summer coming up, I thought this was a good time to share my heavy hitter tips. We're gonna start with my first tip. This tip right here, single-handedly, changed my life, okay? So you know with your kids, you're always like asking them, like put your shoes on, put your clothes in the hamper, clean up your toys, you're always asking them things. And it's almost like they don't even hear you. A lot of times they don't do it, right? Okay, so here is what you do instead. So instead of just telling them what to do, you grab the object that they need to do this task, you hand it to them, give them a verbal cue and then start to physically guide them in the direction they need to go. So instead of saying, Carter, put your pants in the hamper, I would pick up his pants, hand them to him, say hamper and guide him in the direction of the hamper. When I tell you this works, you guys, like just try it. I will show you right now actually in real time. Trash. Tra tra ah, that's funny. It's trash. Shoes. On. Shoe cabinet. This is the territory of the gray reef shark that lives here in large groups. Hamper, hamper, hamper. I would say 90% of the time this works with my six year old. I would say age three and up. My two year old is a little more 50 50. Hamper. So at least in my household, the hardest time of day, by far no contest, is the hours between four to seven o'clock. I just don't have the energy and effort and stamina anymore. The kids have had a long day. So that used to be the most dreaded time of day until recently, literally two weeks ago, I came up with this concept, I call it the five o'clock mom, where I set up a very easy, low prep, low mess activity that they can do when they get home during that challenging five o'clock hour that gives me some peace and gives them something entertaining and engaging to do. And look, these are not Pinterest worthy activities that are gonna take you a long time to set up. You have to go to the store and buy things. These are very, very easy, okay? Every day at five o'clock on my Instagram stories, I share the easy activity of the day. So go find me there at Vassar Beauty. Make sure to check my stories in the evenings and I have everything saved as a highlight. So check their daily for tons and tons of ideas. But if there is one that is the biggest hit for for years, for all ages. It is the good old fashioned sensory bin. My six year old and my two year old love this the same. They will never get sick of it. And it is so incredibly easy. Basically just putting a bunch of various textured, colorful items in one bin. And I just pull out random things from my pantry like dried rice, dried beans, dried pasta, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, oatmeal. And if you do have a younger child, I would say to use all food grade edible ingredients just in case they wanna taste their sensory bin. And in terms of the one that I use, this one is from Target. It is the best, I actually have two of them, one for each kid. It's only $18 and it is perfect because it has five of these removable compartments and because they're removable, it's a lot easier to clean, wash. I would say do this outside because sometimes it can get a little bit messy, but it is nothing crazy and there is such minimal prep involved. Just use things you already have in your pantry and for tons more ideas, check my Instagram stories daily. So I came across the cutest functional keepsake. I just installed it in the house and I had to share it because I think this is such a clever, amazing idea. So it is this mirrored growth chart. It kind of looks like puzzle pieces on the wall. It's a mirror, so it's actually functional. And then it has the measurements on it. It's like a little ruler and it comes with these stickers. So as your child grows, you put the sticker on it, and then you can keep that in their room. They can see how much they're growing. And I just think it is so fun, so adorable. I love how it looks, but also the sentiment behind it. So I thought this was such a clever little keepsake. Okay, let's talk snack hacks because if you're anything like me, my household revolves around food, snacks. First thing in terms of snack packs, I love these containers because there's the four little compartments. They're nice and deep. So you can give them a little variety of things. This is portable, washable, and they are crazy affordable. I want to say a four pack is $11. We use them 
every single day. And you can also use this to pack their lunches and make little DIY healthier Lunchables. Put some crackers, meat, cheese, fruit, etc. Picky eater tip, just add sprinkles. Whatever you're eating suddenly goes from gross to a delicious dessert. So Greek yogurt with granola and berries, that was a no. He wasn't liking the texture. Then add some sprinkles on top. All of a sudden, it's like an ice cream sundae. And these particular sprinkles are awesome because they are healthier sprinkles. They're sweetened with a plant-based sweetener and they're made by a subscriber of mine, a small business, so definitely support her. They're also formulated so that they don't melt when they're baked. They stay nice and crispy, crunchy as a little crunch. A couple other healthier dessert alternatives because when my kids have sugar, all bets are off. Like they become like different children. So I try to avoid sugar as much as I can. One thing I've been using, loving for years, they're called Zollipops. So they are lollipops that are sweetened with xylitol, so a plant-based sweetener. There's zero sugar in it. It tastes like candy, but it doesn't give them that sugar high. So if they've earned a little treat, I'm gonna give them these over real candy or sugar. The other thing last summer I bought might have been the best like $30 I've ever spent. It is this Hawaiian shaved ice machine. Both of my kids, for whatever reason, go nuts for ice, for shaved ice, crushed ice. They were eating crushed ice. It wasn't good for their teeth. So this shaved ice maker shaves it down nice and fine, and I don't even add that sugary syrup. I just give them the ice. How's it taste? Good. What does it taste like? It tastes like lemon. Really? Yeah. Also in the summertime, if your kids like to have popsicles, make sure you get a popsicle holder so it doesn't drip everywhere. Like those are the messiest of all snacks, treats. I pop. Oh, I have a mic pop. Tastes like lemon juice. Lemon juice. It's good. Something that I have been doing for years now, and I swear by. So I got this really affordable hanging shoe rack. It is hanging in the closet of both my kids' rooms, and I pre-make, pre-put together their little outfits. So it's just one less thing I have to do every day, like find a top, bottom, socks. As I'm putting away their laundry, I just put them in little outfits, roll them up and stick them in this shoe rack. So Carter is now old enough where he can just grab his outfit, dress himself, and for Capri, it's just so much easier. Also for summer, I saw Crocs came out with these toddler shoes, kid and toddler shoes. They're good for sweaty summer feet because they're nice and breathable. But what I really love about these shoes is that they are customizable and they have all of these adorable little charms. You can match them to the outfit, you can make them look cute and personalize them to your kids. They're also very affordable. So I just got a pair for both kids and I think they will be wearing them all summer. This is the little bath toy holder that I love so much because it's a scooper, so you can use it, scoop up all the toys, then it suctions onto the wall of your shower or bath, and then it drains out all the water. So this is just the easiest way to manage all of the bath toys. Here are a few easy screen time, TV time tip. First, we have a rule that we instituted that the kids are not allowed to watch any television unless all of their toys are picked up. It's just a hard and fast rule. Clean up your toys and then you can watch television. One of my girlfriends told me that she does this and I was like, wait a second, that's so simple and brilliant. So that is one thing. The next thing is, if you don't already, it is a good idea to put captions on any show that your child is watching. I saw a child development expert saying by having the text on the screen, it helps them make those connections with listening, reading, words, and it is just better for their brain development to have the captions on. Now, as much as possible, I try to put on documentaries for the kids instead of just completely mindless entertainment, which yes, sometimes they just watch mindless stuff, cartoons, but I always try a documentary first, like animal documentary or something about planet Earth. So I'll ask them like, what topic are you interested in? What do you want to learn more about? I want to learn more about sharks. Sharks? <laughs> That's cool. And they're really into sharks right now. So we've been watching a bunch of shark documentaries, orca documentaries, and they are really learning from it. And I just feel a little bit better about that. If you are trying to limit television time or you have a hard time turning the TV off once it's on because the kids get all upset. Like whenever we would turn off the TV, both kids would just have a fit. So instead what I do now is I use the TV timer and I will set it, let's say 45 minutes, however long you want them to be watching and then it will automatically turn off. So it's not you, they can't get mad at you. The TV just turned off, the TV went to sleep and it's nobody's fault and now there's no more fits. Also, for educational purposes, I love the LeapFrog Learning DVDs. Carter actually learned all of his letter sounds from one particular 
Leapfrog Learning DVD. I was amazed. I didn't think he would actually learn from it. And that's how he learned the letter sounds, which is the building blocks for reading. So really, really love the Leapfrog Learning DVD and the best educational app, in my opinion, it is totally free and no ads. Like take that in. It is Khan Academy Kids. I think that it's a nonprofit organization and that's why it's totally free, but they are fun educational games for kids, all different age levels. You go in, you pick you know, their age, they get a little character and they go through these games. And both of my kids love this. So when they want iPad or screen time, just like with the documentaries, I try that first. So with summer coming up, we're outside and sunscreen with kids can be very tricky. This right here is the best sunscreen for kids. I have like 10 of these. I have them everywhere. It is a clear SPF 50 for kids on a stick. It smells like coconuts. It smells so good. And while my kids are still in their car seat, I just wipe it all over their face. It takes seconds. They don't mind it. And it's clear. So you don't even have to rub it in. These are like under 10 bucks. I stock up for summer and this is what we use. Also a new little summer fun gadget toy that I saw that I bought. So I will show you in real time what I think of it. They are reusable water balloons because water balloons are one of the most fun activities of summer. Like I used to love that as a kid so much, but you just go through those water balloons so quickly and it just seems so wasteful. It's like a one-time use kind of toy. So these are reusable. Okay, so after using these reusable water balloons, they are amazing. They are better than I thought they would be. They break really easily and the kids are able to refill them themselves. They played with these for hours. So love these, highly recommend. I also want to show you another cool little gadget if your kids like to paint that minimizes the mess because that is the worst part about painting, it's so messy. So there's a little compartments for all of the colors, there's a place for the brushes, the water, and a nice big mat to keep everything contained. So I also really love this. The only problem is that the kids were fighting over it, so I need to get another one so they each have their own. Mom, what's this green one? I'm so good, Mama. You are, is it so fun? Yeah. Do you like to paint? Yeah, I like to paint. Last but certainly not least, because this is my number one works amazing for getting your child to fall asleep. I saw this on TikTok. It was like a nanny of 20 years shared her secret and it works. And all you have to do, so you get your child in bed, eyes closed, you dim the lights as low as you can get them, that you can still see the page and you start reading to them as slow as humanly possible. So what I like to do is I pretend like there's a period at the end of every word. You talk in a really low, soothing voice. I will show you a clip of me doing this. Her cars were filled with toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no it may take anywhere from three minutes to 10 minutes, but again, just try this one. Try it and report back to me if it works for your child, because this works, oh my goodness, it's like magic with Carter in particular, who is my one who fights bedtime. Capri like goes to bed easily. Carter is the one who likes to fight it and I just read to him so slowly. I think it just settles his nervous system and it lulls him to sleep. Everything I talked about in this video is going to be down in the description box. You can save this video to reference again in the future or maybe send it to some of your mom friends, parent friends. It also really helps out my channel if you share and save this video, so I appreciate that. And with all of that said, thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.